Hello everyone, greetings from Silent Infotech. Today I will provide a description of Udo Advanced Email Configurator. This app has been created by our Udo experts. Here I will give you the explanation of the workflow of this module. First of all, go to the apps. In that, search for Advanced Email Configurator. Here is the app Udo Advanced Email Configurator. To install the app, click on the drop down menu and install from here. This app has already been installed in my system. After the installation of this app, go to settings. Click on users and companies. Click on users. To create a new user, click on create. Now fill the name of the user and email address of the user here. After filling the details, click on save. The new user will be created. Here are some of the users which are already been created. Now go to technical. In that, click on provider. Here, the mail server or the provider is being created. To create a new mail server or provider, click on create. Write the name of the provider here. Now, go to outgoing mail server and fill the details. Now go to incoming mail server and fill the details. After filling the details of the outgoing mail server and the incoming mail server, click on save. The new mail server is been created. Here are some of the mail servers which are already been created by our Udo experts. These mail servers are by default in this system. Now let us move to the user section. Write the email address and the password of the user and click on login. The user account has been logged in. Now we need to set the preferences. For that click on preferences. Go to mail server settings. Here, fill the details of the email, password and select the provider from the given list. After filling the necessary details of the mail server settings, click on test email. If the pop-up shows that connection test is being succeeded and everything seems properly set up, then your mail server settings has been done properly. Now go to CRM. The customers have to be added to the pipeline. Here I have added two customers named Hensi and Kinjal to my pipeline. Now let us see how the conversation is being carried out between a user and a customer. Hensi is the customer and Krishna is the user. To send a message, click on send message and write the message in the given blank space.
After writing up the message, click on send. The user Krishna has sent a message to the customer Hensi. Now let us check the mailbox of the customer Hensi. Here it can be seen that there is one notification of unread message from the user Krishna. Let us view the message. Here it can be seen that the user Krishna has sent a message to Hensi. To reply back to this message, click on reply. Write the message in the given section. After writing the message, click on send. Now let us check whether the user Krishna has received the message from Hensi or not. The Udu takes some time to fetch the messages. Hence, we need to wait for some time. It can be seen that Hensi the customer has sent a message to Krishna the user. Here all the details of email address is also being shown. Hence it says that the conversation between a user and the customer was successful. Now let us check the same procedure for the another customer. Here the customer is Kinjal and the user is Krishna. Follow the same steps. Click on send message. Write the message in the given blank space. After writing the message, click on send. The message is being sent to the customer Kinjal from the user Krishna. Now let us check the mailbox of the customer Kinjal. Here it can be seen that there is one notification of unread message from the user Krishna. Let us view the message. To reply to this message, click on reply and write the message in the given blank space. After writing the message, click on send. Now let us check the user's account. As I said earlier, it takes time to fetch the messages Hence, we need to wait for some time. Here it can be seen that Kinjal the customer has replied to Krishna the user with the email address. Hence it proves that the conversation between a user and the customer was 
done successfully. Now let us check the mailbox of the user Krishna. Here it can be seen that there are two notifications of unread messages from Hensi and Kinjal. Let us view both these messages. Here it can be seen that the whole conversation which was carried out between the customer Hensi is shown here. Now let us view the message of Kinjal. Here also it can be seen that the conversation which was carried out between Krishna and Kinjal is seen here. The main advancement done in our module is that the Udu fetches the messages from the mailbox but it doesn't change the status of the messages that are unread texts are not changed to the read texts. The another advancement done in our module is the feature of auto generate mail server. Now let me show you how it works. If the admin wants to create a mail server per user then it can be done by selecting the option of auto generate mail server. For this go to settings, click on general settings, go to users section and tick on auto generate mail server. After clicking on auto generate mail server, click on save. All the changes have been saved. Now let me show the procedure of how it works. Click on users and companies. Click on users, click on create and write the name of the user. Write the email address of the user. If the user will click on save then it will show the pop-up that password and the provider fields are not being filled. Hence the user has to fill the details of the email and the password and also the provider. For that click on preferences. Write the password of the user and select the provider from the given list. After filling the details click on save. The user will be created. Hence, this is how our module works. Thank you.